Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The four words, more of the same, sum up the weather for the next 10 days. More of the same low pressure, more of the same kind of rain. And again, it will be more of the same when it comes to temperatures generally below average. Sometimes it's useful to look back before we look forwards. October saw this rainfall pattern across the UK. The blues show where the rainfall was well above average across a significant part of England and Wales. Scotland and Northern Ireland, meanwhile, saw average rainfall. The cause of this rainfall anomaly, the jet stream. This was the average position of the jet stream during October 2019. It was south shifted and it brought areas of low pressure in from the Atlantic and directed them towards parts of England and Wales. Well, that's where we saw repeated bouts of wind and rain. We were also tending to lie on the cold side of the jet stream, to the north of the jet stream, and that's why October 2019 was also colder than average. Fast forward to the current time and you can see little change. The jet stream in virtually the same position during Wednesday and if we run it forward you can see that jet stream position changes little over the next five days or so. It continues to dive to the south of the UK. It will push north over the Atlantic and then repeatedly it will dive to the south of the country and it's in this dip where low pressure systems will end up and they'll become stuck. Here's one low pressure moving in for Thursday and Friday and you can see how it gets stuck in that dip for a time before hot on its heels. The next low comes along from the Atlantic driven by a powerful jet stream, that's what the colours show here, and then they also get stuck over the UK, stuck in this trough of the jet stream. Let's put some detail on that. What does that mean? It means that low pressure will move in after low pressure over the next five days. When they move in they become slow moving and the rain bands and the weather front that are associated with them also become slow moving. Here's a prime example into Thursday. Rain moving from the southwest into central parts of the UK where the wet weather becomes stuck for much of Thursday into Thursday night. Northern parts of England, North Midlands into North Wales. Some areas here could see significant amounts of rainfall. 80 mils over the hills for example. Yellow warnings in force. Keep an eye on warnings though because they will be updated over the next few hours and they could change. Check those uh, warnings on the website. Further south than that, showers, blustery winds and across the northeast of Scotland, further showers with snow falling over the tops of the hills. A little calmer on Friday, we've still got the rain first thing across northern parts of England, North Wales, but it turns more showery through the day. A lot of cloud through central areas, sunshine either side, so it's not a washout everywhere. Best of the sunshine, Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, but feeling cold on Friday. Now, after that happens, through Friday night, sky's clear, a widespread frost forms and a bright start to the weekend in many central and eastern areas. Further west, well, the next system moves in quite quickly, bringing some wind and rain with it. And as that rain hits the cold air ahead of it, well, there'll be some snow over the higher ground of the north. Above 250 metres or so for the hills of Scotland during Saturday morning. That snow level rising a little through the day, but we'll also see some snow over the hills of northern England and perhaps north Wales. Otherwise, it's wet in the west, it's drier further east, skies clouding over through the day, and it will continue to feel cold. A reversal of fortunes then heading into Sunday because the rain moves into eastern Britain and then again it becomes stuck. You can see that low pressure becomes slow moving. Further wet weather to come for East Anglia and the southeast, some heavy rain at times and more rain to come for eastern Scotland. But further west, well a very different day. Sunshine returns, albeit with one or two showers. And again temperatures generally single figures. Colder than average for the time of year but not desperately cold. Now into the start of next week, a wet spell of weather to come on Monday as the next low pressure comes along and once again that gets caught up into this dip of the jet stream and once again becomes stuck to bring some more unsettled weather through the early part of next week. We're not the only place seeing repeated cycles of weather. North America is seeing a repeated outbreaks of Arctic air. Here's one coming through on Friday and then the next Arctic plunge later in the weekend. And these repeated Arctic outbreaks are clashing with mild or warm subtropical air close to Florida. And that then leads to a spawning ground for areas of low pressure. Here's one on Friday that forms and you can see it rapidly deepens. It pushes north over the Atlantic and then through Sunday starts to dive south towards the UK and then it gets stuck 
across Western Europe in that dip of the jet stream. So these lows are forming because of that temperature contrast over North America. They then travel the Atlantic and get stuck over the UK through the next 10 days or so. This is a typical weather pattern for the middle of next week. Difficult to put details on it, but effectively we've still got low pressure after low pressure coming along, becoming slow moving over central parts of Europe, continuing to bring the wettest weather to parts of England and Wales, and colder than average air across much of the country with some hill snow over northern England and Scotland. Now there's the chance later next week that the jet stream will become even more amplified. Warm air pushing north in the Atlantic and then cold air pushing south over central Europe. And if that happens, then these low pressure systems will become even slower moving and we could well have a cold northerly for a time around Friday and Saturday next week. That's a long way off. Other computer models send the next low pressure systems in quicker and keep the cold air at bay. And we're not talking about snow for the home counties or anything like that. It's not that kind of cold. It's slightly colder than average for the time of year. It will feel cold, but any rain will be falling as snow generally over northern hills. And of course, in this country, you still get drier interludes in between the bouts of wind and rain. So it's not a complete washout over the next 10 days. Effectively, what I'm saying is it's more of the same kind of weather that we've had recently. You can, of course, keep up to date with all the very latest by following the Met Office on social media. Bye-bye.